This last video of this week is just going over briefly a few uh, terms that you'll need to understand. I could have done this in writing, but I decided to uh, talk to you once more on video. Uh, jurisdiction, J-U-R-I-S-D-I-C-T-I-O-N, jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is the area, region uh, that any court has authority over. For example, the Idaho Supreme Court has no jurisdiction in Montana, Washington, or Oregon, or Nevada, or Utah, or Canada, for that matter. Uh, the jurisdiction of Kootenai County's court is within Kootenai County. And so um, if you hear police or uh, court officials talking about jurisdiction is where does this particular court have the authority to make rulings? Uh, it's the territory of the court. Now, an appeal, as I indicated in an earlier video, is when a party, and in some cases it can be the prosecutor, in other cases it can be the defendant. Uh, in almost all cases it can be the defendant. But where a party to a court decision in a trial court, which is the first line of defense for courts, is so unhappy with their decision that they want another court at the higher level to review it for its constitutionality, for the right rectitude of its reasoning, for the purity of its evidence, all of that stuff. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, almost always there is some kind of threat to appeal whenever anyone is convicted of a crime, but um, not all of these appeals go anywhere. And one of the things that clogs the system up is all of these appeals, but it is a basic right of citizenship that, at least up to a point, if you don't think that you've received justice, you have the right to appeal that decision to the next highest court within that broad jurisdiction. The trial level, trial level, is uh, the first level that a person reaches when they go to court. Uh, they are on trial as an accused, uh, and, and there is a prosecuting attorney who is the government's lawyer to prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, and there is a defense attorney who works for you or works for the government as a public defender, but is there to serve your interests. Uh, and these two will duke it out verbally using evidence and rhetoric and logic and reason and emotion to try to persuade judge and jury that the law in this case is for the prosecutor to convict or for the defense attorney to acquit. Um, and that is the trial level. The appellate level or appeal level is when you go above the trial court and you've now appealed this to the appellate court. And the appellate court is either if you're in a state court system, it may be the state regional court, like Idaho District 1, or it may be the Idaho Supreme Court, and then beyond that it may be the U.S. Supreme Court. Or if you're in a federal jurisdiction or in a federal courtroom, you get your trial, you appeal it to the uh, federal district, and then you go to the federal circuit appeals court. And we are in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. I think Idaho is in the 5th district of the 9th circuit, but I could be wrong. Uh, and then above that, of course, is the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, obviously, the Supreme Court in the state is supposed to be, for the most part, the court of last appeal within the state as regards state law. But, the system being what it is, there are often cases where state law will be appealed to the federal bench. But there are restrictions on that, constitutional restrictions, based on what state courts do and what federal courts do, and there is a difference. Unless a, an interstate crime of some kind has been committed, the state court's decision may very, very well be final. If you're in federal court, you're already involved in a federal case, proverbial federal case anyway, uh, either because you're in the military, you're dealing with the federal government, or you've crossed state lines in the commission of a crime. And in a case like that, uh, it is much more likely that the U.S. Supreme Court will take your case if it comes from a federal appellate course. But the, the Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court, does take does take 
ribbit does take cases from the uh, from the states. Uh, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to go to a website that talks about how there are too many Caucasians and males and Europeans and not enough women of color in the judiciary, you can go to American progress.org and hear all about how we need more women of color and what they of course also mean is we need more progressive liberals and leftists but if you want to get a very different take on the federal judiciary I, I looked for uh, a website that was almost caustic and toxic in its uh, difference from me so if you are among those few students, and you know who you are, uh, who really, really, really uh, want to get a, another point of view, and actually everyone should be interested in at least seeing what the other side is like, AmericanProgress.org is certainly not the only place you can find information on the judiciary, and I would never trust anything from them without checking it with another set of sources, but they will offer you a radically emphasis on the word radical, a radically different opinion on the uh, nature and state of the judiciary. Uh, in any case, that's it for this week. Next week we'll go over a survey of the U.S. Supreme Court's history and we will spend some time on a number of key cases that the U.S. Supreme Court has decided and uh, these cases are listed in your notes. Missing you all. Have a good week.